Hi, today we're going to be unboxing the Intel Xeon 5690 processors. That's right, that's 5690. These are the fastest Intel Xeon processors for the consumer market available today. And today is March of 2011. Apparently these guys came out uh, about a week before I bought them. So not too many people have these available yet. So uh, I'm sure some of you are jealous that I have them. So here we are with the unboxing ceremony, and I'm going to be actually inserting them into the EVGA uh, classified SR2 motherboard. So let me open up the first box, and let's take a looky here. So here's the 5690, uh, which runs at 3.46 gigahertz. And as you can see, the product code is BX80614X5690. This is direct from Intel, so let me open up the, the factory seal here. Okay, it comes in a little, little box. There we go. Not much else in there. Okay, and it's got this nice little book that probably says much about nothing. Oh, nice little. Xeon inside sticker, a little hologram there, that looks kind of cool. And here is the chip. Now how do we get this thing out of this? Ah, okay, here we go. So here is the actual chip. There it is in its plastic little container. So it says Intel 09, no it says Intel B9, or is it 09? I think it's 09. Uh, X5690, Intel Xeon, SLB, VX, Costa Rica. I guess this is made in Costa Rica. Okay, now let me take this out of here and let me open up the second, second box here. Okay. I guess they will look the same inside. <laughs> Box, same book. I guess I'll have two of them. And here's the second CPU. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is put them right into these sockets so that you can see them. I'm going to move this motherboard a little bit over. But Mr. Cameraman has to come a little bit closer here to watch this. All right, I'm going to put the socket, the first CPU socket in first. And there's a little switch here. And it comes the CPU holder. And this should flip open. Here we go. It flips open. You gotta be real careful here because these pins are very, very delicate, and if you mishandle it, you're really screwed. So I'm gonna open up this protective shield very, very carefully, and even says, please handle the CPU socket area carefully as physical damage to the pins will void the warranty. That's fantastic. All right, so let me make sure that I lift it up very, very carefully. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Now, so there are the pins, and here's the CPU. Let me take the CPU out of its protective shield. Here we go. Okay, and there's the CPU. And just so you know which one goes where, there are a couple of dents on this side and on this side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them right in like that. And that's it. Just going to put it in real carefully and close. And 
and that's all that's how you do it. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing with the second one. So let me open the second one right here. Here we go, open this. And this should open up like so. Okay. Now I'm gonna lift this very, very carefully so as not to bend the pins. I'm trying to do this with one hand, but it's getting difficult, so I'm going to try to do it with two. There we go. That was easy. Now I'm going to undo the socket from its protective plastic shield. Okay, now here's the CPU. And it's got those two ridges on the sides. And I'm going to put them in very, very carefully. And actually the socket on this one is upside down compared to this first one, so uh, don't make the mistake of lining them up. That would be bad. I just want to make sure all the pins look good before I put the socket in. Yeah, everything looks pretty, pretty good, so here we go. Drop it in real slow and real straight. That's it. Now I'm going to close the lid and then clamp down the CPU and that's it. So that's it folks as far as this video of putting in two Intel 5690s into one motherboard. Stay tuned for another video where I'm going to put the heat sinks and this whole contraption into its final resting place of the custom case.